The vastness of space has left it to be one of the last unexplainable frontiers of the human race. With it has also come a wide number of strange and anomalous properties that even the most well-versed experts on the matter can't explain. Such phenomenons include strange signals, unexplainable behaviour of stars, and that of impossible to detect radiation far out of the reach of humanity. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five different mysterious and unexplainable radio signals that scientists have received from deep space and what it could mean for the future of humanity in the hopes of better understanding these strange findings. The Music of Saturn As the Cassini mission saw its final orbits around the gas giant Saturn, it began using its state-of-the-art equipment to gather as much data of the planet as it could before leaving it behind forever. This gathering of information included the electromagnetic wave data acquired from the waves of plasma moving from Saturn to its moon, the Enceladus. This plasma wave seemed to be similar to that of a radio signal translated from electromagnetic information in music, and so when researchers decided to translate the information into that of a radio signal, they came upon a strange discovery. The signal seemed to sound eerily familiar to that of long, dragged-out chords of music. The recording of this strange phenomenon was first made on the 2nd of September back in 2017, by an instrument known as the Radio Plasma Wave Science Instrument. Experts hope that this gathering of information will help to shed light on the appearance of these plasma waves and their movement that seems to be caused by a variety of unknown factors. Today, you can still hear these Cassini recordings that many describe as both a creepy and unsettling noise. Given the fact that the cause of these naturally forming plasma waves are entirely unknown, it appears that scientists are still struggling to come up with answers for this weird occurrence for Saturn and its moon, the Enceladus, and will be attempting to gather future information in other space missions as to the nature of the gas giant and its surrounding celestial bodies. Mysterious radio bursts 3 billion light years away. Something somewhere out deep in the vastness of space is some strange anomalous mystery object that continues to throw extremely large blasts of radio waves out from around it in all directions travelling at the speed of light. Fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short, have always been a mystery for astronomers and scientists in the field trying to understand the strange nature of the cosmos, but this new finding might help to shed light onto what might be causing these strange signals. When astronomers turned their attention to the possible source of these FRBs, they discovered an area with an extremely strong magnetic field, suggesting that the FRBs come from an unexplainable object that exists in a very intense galactic environment containing an extremely strong magnetic source. Scientists are still trying to understand what could be causing this extreme magnetic source and not many theories have arisen since its discovery back in January of 2018. The lead researcher on the matter, Emily Petrov, working out of the Netherlands Institute for Radio Astronomy, claimed that researchers are directly probing the local environment of a source in a distant galaxy said to be responsible for this matter more than 3.8 billion light years away. The current theory of the cause is said to be that of a supermassive black hole that might have affected a nearby entity causing the source of the magnetism, though any additional information is completely unclear on the matter. Still, it appears the team is hard at work attempting to gather as much information as they can that has led them to that of the supermassive black hole, a nearby neutron star and possible gad tendrils from the area. The research group is confident that in a few years, more creative theories will emerge to help explain this strange radio anomaly coming from deep space and what it could mean for the extreme local galactic environment. The WOW signal Before the establishment of the SETI project in 1973, 
the only radio telescope working to uncover the mystery of extraterrestrial life was that of Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Observatory that was turned on back in 1963 and had the sole purpose of listening out in the cosmos for extraterrestrial signals. The strange thing was that 14 years after it was first turned on, it received a signal that most members of the alien community deem the most substantial piece of evidence for extraterrestrial life regarding the SETI project involving radio telescopes. On the 15th of August in 1977, a 72-second long transmission was captured while the Big Ear Telescope was pointed towards the constellation Sagittarius that bore the unexpected hallmarks of extraterrestrial origin. In fact, prior to this event, Back in 1959, researchers posited forth the theory that if extraterrestrial contact was ever made, it would most likely be of that in the radio wave frequency of 1420 MHz, which is the specific frequency naturally emitted by hydrogen, the most common element in the universe and therefore likely familiar to all technologically advanced civilizations. Oddly enough, the 72-second long transmission was exactly within the 1420 MHz frequency, with peaks and lows exactly equal to each other in variation, marking that not only was this a mathematically symmetrical frequency, but that there was no possible way that this frequency could have a non-artificial origin. This 72-second transmission was then given the title of the WOW signal, which was named after the lead researcher who discovered the signal in the data and wrote the small side note of WOW to indicate the unbelievable nature of the data. Skeptics and researchers to this day have had massive difficulty trying to explain what this signal could have been from and so it could very well be that on a lonely planet out in the Sagittarius constellation we heard the radio signal of a greeting more than 25,000 light years away. The Space Roar Back in 2009, top researchers at the Goddard Space Flight Center sent a device up into space via a giant balloon known as ARCADE. ARCADE was an acronym that stood for Absolute Radiometer for Cosmology, Astrophysics and Diffuse Emissions, which details its mission as being that of a searching device capable of picking up diffuse radiation caused by the universe's earliest stars. It was a huge surprise then that instead of picking up these weak signals, the Arcade device captured data that scientists have described as a space roar. Although a large amount of radio waves caused via synchrotron radiation was expected by researchers at the Goddard Space Flight Center, what was recovered and analyzed turned out to be radio waves six times the normal amount expected to be heard as well as their origin points being from that of galaxies 2.5 million light years away. This had led many to speculate the possibility that perhaps this enormous amount of background radio waves found in our universe could be that of extraterrestrial civilizations and their frequencies sent out into the vacuum of space. This could very well be the case considering our radio frequencies have been spreading out like a bubble from Earth since the first transmissions were sent a little over 100 years ago. And given the fact that these extraterrestrial civilizations could predate us by millions of years, we could be picking up the faintest signals that have reached us over a vast distance of both space and time. Scientists struggle to find any other cause for this mystery and have left many wondering if whether or not we are truly alone in the universe or we are merely the latest species to tune in to an age-old galactic conversation. The first radio broadcast. Though its influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcasting device we know as the radio has not been around for very long. In fact, its inventor Nikola Tesla did not first conceive of the idea until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time when first coming up with its invention. Being the only inventor of his time, to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its powers and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting his signal, 
As soon as he turned on the device, he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. He would later go on to claim that the people transmitting him a signal were those of beings living on the surface of Mars and that they were attempting to make first contact with him. This was only made more eerie as Nikola Tesla wrote that this voice was that of a man calling out his name, saying Tesla, one, two, three, over and over again before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate that this signal could have been nothing more than background radiation misinterpreted caused by a solar wind of the sun. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background. No explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human. Ranging from extraterrestrials to time travelers, the conspiracy theory community seems hell-bent on trying to discover the root cause of Nikola Tesla's first received broadcasts. But what do you all think of these five strange and unexplainable radio signals scientists have received from deep space and what they could mean for the future of humanity? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.